Oh, that's big coffee. <laughs> right, got me coffee. I made it to the wood. It's um, glorious bank holiday weekend, which is unheard of. It's just absolutely beautiful. So I'm under the shelter, and uh, I think I'll just use a blanket tonight because it's really warm. I don't think it's going to get that cold tonight, but it might, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. I think a blanket might do it. <sighs> Keep hearing a owl, a twit to a type, it's two owls, just off in the distance, which is lovely. And the sound of lots of pheasants, which is nice. Yeah, so, got some bits and pieces to show you, as usual. I'm just going to go and do some sawing in a minute. Um, I'm going to stay the night tonight and um, cook some food and have sort of reasonably small cooking fire and uh, I just chill actually. It's uh, just really nice to be here. There's no wind. It's really quiet. I'm sure you've probably realised by now I'm a bit of a old tool junkie. I'm always on eBay looking for bits of old tools and things. And this is um, an old fireman's axe. It's uh, hefty. Um, the edge on it isn't very good because it's been ground a bit oddly, um, one side's higher than the other, so I had a little bit of a go at it, but I'm going to um, keep at it, it's one of those long jobs I think, little bits at a time, so I just made a quick little sheath for it, it's only um, a rough one, I haven't finished it yet, so I'm just going to, um, just going to put it there, um, yeah I love my tools and things off eBay. One of my colleagues at work gifted me a bunch of tools out of his attic. Um, this brace and, bra uh, brace and bit was really rusted up but I've uh, just applied some um, Try and get them focused. That, that's nice now, that's working. Yeah, I just used a bit of the old, um, I should have used some um, WD 40, but it's in the car and I couldn't be bothered to get it. Oh. So I think that was a, a deer just walking by. Missed him. <laughs> yeah, he gifted me some tools out of his attic an old um, brace and uh, hand drill. And then I managed to find some really nice drill bits on eBay, which were all in pretty good nick. Didn't really need to sharpen them, they were all quite sharp. So I've been uh, messing about with tools. And the uh, walking crook stick that I made, um, I used the hand tools to do that. And that was really nice using silent tools, which was great. Yeah, fireman's axe. It's a bit of a brute actually, but uh, useful. <laughs> Good for splitting, that's for sure. Um, short handle. I've um, brought some reading with me today. I don't know if people remember the old Jack Hargreaves TV program, Out of Town. I used to love it and I, you still get a couple of bits and pieces, small, short episodes on uh, YouTube. But I saw the book, so I thought uh, 
I'll bring the book and do a bit of reading today. It should be nice. Um, if I can uh, get the other one, which is town and... No, it's out of town, that's what it was called. I'll see if I can get that. But there are some DVDs. I'm really tempted to order them. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. I'm getting bombarded with um, pine cones. I think the squirrels don't like me being here. Or maybe it's just the time they fall down, but very nice. <laughs> Pretty. <sighs> I'm exhausted, I'm not used to this. Um, I don't normally drink beer, but I'm going to have a beer today. Heatherwood Craft Beer Company, the Ruby Rooster, Ruby Ale. Five percent, that's not bad. Uh, luckily, my little knife has got a bottle opener on it. I think this will do it. Oh yeah, Ooh. it's not as cold as I'd like it, but it's just nice to... <sighs> hot day, it's a really hot day today. It's uh, cooling down now, it's about, what is it? Oh, about 5.30, so... Got the sun directly at me, but it's yeah, got a couple of hours still, I think. Three hours, I reckon. So, beer. Cheers. Oh, that's quite nice. And uh, I don't want to cook my dinner. I've got quite a big dinner tonight, so I'm. Uh, so I think I'm going to have one of my. Caramel wafers, oh, just to keep me going. Tonics, tonics. They're not owned by tonics anymore. Mm -hmm. Scotland, I didn't know that. There you go, caramel wafers made in Scotland. Cool. Right, so I'm going to have those and then I'll, uh, I'm going to have quite a, a large dinner later. But I don't want to have it yet, it's too early. Maybe about seven ish or something. We'll see. The birds are waking up. It's always about this time when they start singing again. There's been a real owl sound all afternoon, which is lovely. Mm, excuse me, I'm still eating caramel wafer. Yeah, the wood's starting to um, come alive. There's a bit of green about. The pine trees and the larches are the ones that seem to be going first. There's some nice green over there. That's lovely. It's definitely just beginning, which is nice. <laughs> Sound of pheasants. This is a bit like the um, <clears throat> golden now. Just this nice low sunlight, which is nice. <laughs> munch, munch, munch. Ooh. I'm going to show you this. Increased malt for distinctive chocolate flavours. That's funny, I've just eaten some chocolate, so... <laughs> Maybe it is quite chocolatey. I saw one of these on Dave um, Freer's channel. This is great. It's, um, it's a little multi-tool. It's another one of those things I got on eBay. It's got... Um, uh, can you see that? It's got a screwdriver and all. A sort of little mini drill. And what well, I'll call that a bottle I don't know, opener, I think. Yeah. But yeah. Again it was another oh gold. <laughs> it's another little eBay find. Sorry. And it's um it's really cool. Really cool. Sorry, I'll show you. Oh for God's sake. <laughs> show you again. You screw it together. And then you've got your little Oh, that's quite sharp. Yeah, you've got your little tool. How cool is that? 
It's like your original Swiss Army pen knife. I really like that. I've got to stop shopping on eBay. I've had this, um, I've had numerous health things just like, um, I've had this weird thing, I had a dodgy shoulder and stuff, but I had this um, really bad cold over Christmas, it just went on and on and on, went on for about six weeks, but it's left me with um, a problem with my ear, I can't remember what it's called, it's damaged to the actual um, nerve that goes to your brain and it makes you lose your balance and I had about three weeks where I was just kept veering off to the to the right and I was just like oh my god so doctors and everything so it turns out it's quite a common thing that people get now I've had to do all these exercises which are exhausting because they you have to retrain your brain so I'm all right now looking left and looking right and looking down but I'm still quite bad when I look up and I go very dizzy which is one of the reasons I've made my um, walking stick, uh, my walking staff because when I go foraging it's easier just to hook something and pull it down than to try and stretch up and reach it that way so yeah, it's just an odd one, I've never heard of it before but apparently it's really common so I've got to watch out that I don't fall down <laughs> which that's not going to help me with it, but we'll see. <laughs> I suppose that is quite chocolatey. Mm, nice. There is some lovely bird song at the moment. <laughs> And the sound of a car. The problem when the, for the wood is quite thin like this, you hear the sound from the very bottom where the road is. When the trees are all in foliage, it seems to block it out. You can hear that owl again. The uh, fro didn't do too badly with the feather sticks. Right, I'm going to see if I can get this lit. I've got this Swedish fire steel. I uh, can't remember what it's called. I think it's a Swedish scout or something like that. I don't know. Let's see if we can. Ooh. Oh yeah. Well that was quicker than I thought. Oh cool. Yeah, way quicker than I thought. Let's just get these going then. Cool. Oh, that was uh oops, whoa, that's hot. <laughs> that's not a bad little fast. Get some twigs on that now. Just a little bit of the back of twigs. So we'll see if this works. Ow! Oh, I've got my fingers caught in that. <laughs> Broken these up a bit more before. Ooh, already smoking. I thought these were completely dead, but we'll see. Oh, something's going like crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to light the fire now. It's about half six. And then uh, I might have to move this camera away. <laughs> Stay close. Oops, sorry about that. Yeah, I like this now. I 
and then uh, half six now, so by about half seven should be uh, good for. Ooh, those twigs really do go up. And by about half seven, I should have some decent coals going for. session. Hopefully these will light the logs below. Might put some heavier twigs on in a minute. Just got loads of these little twigs. Of heavier ones to go on top in a minute. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, the fro did all right with the feather sticks though. Just having that little tiny bit sharpened has worked quite well. These hessian bags you get from places like Marks and Spencers, they're um, really good for collecting sticks. Oh, that's all my twigs. My um, barbecue grill finally died, the legs underneath just gave up. So I've uh, just taken the top off and using it as a, a little fire pit now. I've uh, actually got a plate tonight. This is the one that's in my box, but I don't often use it. But tonight I think I will. Nice old little out, yeah, pound shop job. Works perfectly. these grill things are dust down with my little brush. Should be okay. By the time the fire's been on them for a bit, it should be alright. I'm still using the uh, chest pack. I really like it. It's really good. So that fire steel and that little tool kit both sit in there. The uh, twig fire is pumping out some heat. It's too hot, in fact. <laughs> yeah, it should give me some good coals because I've got um, half a side of beef. <laughs> I'm eating, uh, yeah, I shouldn't eat it really, but I always do when I come here. I didn't believe I was a vegetarian the rest of the time. Yeah, I'm tempted to go for that now, I think. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of coals in there. There's a lot of oil in this. So. Okay. That's a rather large piece of meat. <laughs> Lots of paprika and olive oil. Right, I'm going to be honest, I was supposed to come down about two days ago and I got this um, joint of beef from Lidl <laughs> um, 
and I looked at it and I thought, why don't you just take a slice off it and then marinate it, which is what I did. But it's been marinating for about three days. Oh my goodness, there it goes. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what it turns out like. The uh, oil has just set the fire going crazier. But we'll see. We'll see what it turns out like. But yeah, half a side of beef. I think that will be dinner and breakfast. But I've got lots of salad to go with it. My tongs again, didn't I? Oh my. Wow. I think that's gonna be a long cook. Just leave it for ages on this. I've got some pita breads and salad as well, so I'm gonna slice it thin and have it with pita bread and salad and uh, see how that goes. But wow, it looks pretty, pretty amazing actually. I'm going to take a chance on it being a, a warm night. Um, I think it's supposed to go down to about 8 at the lowest. Uh, I've got my pillowcase which I'm going to fill with stuff. And I've got my wool blanket which is that one and a thermorest. So what's the thing? I don't know, it's very thin. Ooh, taking a chance but I think I'll go for it. I don't generally get cold at night, so we'll see. I do love this old wool blanket. Again, it was another eBay, and it's not the best colour for <laughs> going in the wood, but I've never washed it, so it's, uh, and it is really cosy. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm not, it's not going to rain, so. And it feels ever so warm, so. Hmm, we'll see. Alright, how's my steak doing? I might need to turn it over again. This might be done quite quickly actually. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Move that. Be sensible. Don't burn yourself. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I'm liking the look of that. All that paprika's... Uh, Mm -hmm. I don't know, I might have to cut that in half in a minute and have a look. very very red in the middle. I think it's one of those to keep it just on the edge for quite a while. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah it can sit there for a while. I think it's going to take longer than just uh, mind you I don't really like rare meat, so but that looks really mm, tempting. Oh wow! <laughs> mm. But yeah, that's really good. Okay, so I'm using a stump with a bit of kitchen paper on it. That should do the job. And so I'm ready. It's uh, not brandy, it's wine. <laughs> but I forgot my glass, so I'm gonna have to be there. I'm gonna have to swig it out of the bottle. Oh well. Come on. 
It's a very marinated salad, <laughs> but it'll do. The salad's been marinated in pomegranate syrup as a dressing, which is going to be lovely. <laughs> Try it. Oh yeah. Mmm, that's really nice. All sorts of things, cucumber and stuff. Mmm. I've got a feeling this is going to be really nice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's plenty for one person, in fact it's a bit outrageous. What I've also got is uh, some hummus, which I'll put in with my salad, hopefully. everywhere. Which you want to put that down there. Whoa. I've just got it all over me. That's for the steak. And then go oh, again ever so messy here. Yeah? I'm afraid to have a bit of salt and pepper. Oh, I didn't think I was going to be able to get that open. Just a little bit of salt. Ooh, I just dropped out. <laughs> okay. Oops. <laughs> That's quite a lot of salt. Oh well. Oh, well, I think that's dinner. <laughs> Excellent. I've already got hiccups. Bring you back later. I'm just going to eat this. Oh, 
my god, that was amazing. That actually was really good. I really enjoyed that. Oh, let's sort this fire out now. All tidied up for the morning. That dinner was so nice. <laughs> mm, I could uh, definitely do that one again. That was a good idea. Really, really tasty. So it's starting, it's getting on eight and it's starting to get dark now. So I've just got the fire going again. I don't want it to be too big tonight. I just want to keep it as is. I don't think it's going to get too cold. I keep waiting for that owl. I want to get it on camera, but it's not happening. Anyway, rain. Swigging. Oh, that's nice. There go the pheasants. Yeah, it's really peaceful. There was a point in the day when there were like big heavy uh, airplane engines. I don't know if it's um, certain points when um, planes are going into the airport. They're very high up, but it's as if their engine goes down the gear or something. Anyway, it seems to have stopped now, thank God. It was only for about half an hour, it wasn't for very long. But now it's it's so quiet, I can hear the ticking of my watch. Just that and the birds. So I shall uh, carry on reading my book. This is good. This is really good. It's um, really interesting. Especially for city folks like me. There he is, old, uh, old Jack. Excellent. God, I've loved his workshop. <laughs> He's got some really interesting photos in here. Really interesting old fishermen and stuff. It's a really cool little book. Yeah. I might have to buy his DVDs, I don't know. Really nice. So, I'll carry on reading that and uh, see how, how the evening goes. I don't know why I'm not here all the time. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it's about half eight, so the light's just starting to go. So I think it's time to Get it out. Oh my god. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So. So I was focusing then on the camera and not on the candle. Oh, my little favourite. Yuko brass candle. With its uh, my <laughs> yoga mat cover. A lot cheaper than the ones you can buy. Cool. I think the pheasants are having a shouting match.
Good morning. That was a good night's sleep. Alright, so this is the um, beginnings. I've gone quite a long way down actually, but <clears throat> about a third of a way of a safe path, which I hope is safe enough for people to walk up and not trip and fall. So I'm on it at the moment. <laughs> I'm using just uh, forking everything back with a three prong trin, 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 trin. Oh, it's getting there. While I've been clearing, I've come across a number of these in the soil and I think, because they're underneath and got roots, I think they're puffballs, but I don't know, we bury it. <laughs> got any puffballs. Um, why footpath? Well, not really a footpath, more a bike path. I just want to create a sort of narrow path that I can uh, start cycling up here, getting the train and then cycling up on my bike, which would be lovely. I mean, I could explore the area a bit more as well, which would be really nice. So I'm going to see how it goes. It's a, a big plan, maybe too big. 